Hello everyone. Today we will discuss a topic from climatology from winds. The topic is what are local winds, what are its types and what are weather modification associated with the local winds. As the word itself signifies, it is a wind which have an impact in some local area. This wind is generated due to change in some local pressure gradient. or due to differential cooling of earth heating of earth which can be either because of due to variation in topography that is height shape of the earth surface. Thus we can say local winds are generated due to change in the local pressure gradient due to differential rate of heating and cooling of earth surface which can be because of the variation in topography that is height shape of the earth surface. Now these local winds can be of two types one is called as periodical wind another is non periodical wind. Periodical wind they are generated due to differential heating of differential heating and cooling. Thus these winds are also called as diurnal winds. Like you have mountain breeze and valley breeze, you have land breeze and sea breeze. Land breeze and sea breeze are outcome of differential heating of land and water thus during the day we have sea breeze during the night we have land breeze similarly during the day we have valley breeze and during the night we have mountain breeze this valley breeze is also called as anabatic winds and this mountain breeze is also called as catabatic winds. So these winds are called diurnal winds in daytime if I compare land breeze and sea breeze daytime there will be sea breeze. night time there will be land breeze. Similarly, daytime there will be valley breeze and by the night there will be mountain breeze. Thus they are called as diurnal. The second set of local wind is non periodical wind. These non periodical winds are hot winds and cold winds. Now these non periodical winds we study them in parameters first name of the local wind, place of origin, nature of local wind and weather modifications. like if I give an example here name of the wind Chinook place of origin if we give an example eastern slope 
of rocky mountains that to be on leeward slope in winters. When I say nature, it is dry and hot wind. Then weather modification, it increases the temperature and melts the snow. Similarly, we have to discuss Fohen, name of the wind, place of origin of Fohen, nature of Fohen and weather modifications. Like Fohen, it blows in Switzerland. in Alps mountain. Similarly, if we talk about Santana, it blows in California, is a hot and dry wind. If we talk about Mistral, it is a cold wind, blows in Spain and France. If we talk about Pampero, it blows in Pampas region. Of Argentina, in South America. Similarly, when we talk about blizzard, it blows in Canada and Siberia. When we talk about this Bora, it blows in Adriatic Sea, so these all winds are cold and hot winds. Now what we have to study in detail about their weather modifications. So again I will repeat, these are hot winds, Chinook, Lu, Hermaten, Fohen, Santana, cold winds, Mistral, Bora, Blizzard, Pamparo, there can be lot of other local winds, hot or cold. We have discussed here some of those winds. Now we will discuss other part of this topic which is weather phenomenon associated with the local winds. One of the local wind which is hot and dry is Chinook. Now we have to discuss what are the weather phenomena or weather modifications associated with the Chinook. Chinook blows along the eastern slope of Rocky Mountains or we can say the leeward slope of Rocky Mountains. As soon as it starts moving down along these slopes, it get compressed and due to friction, it becomes hot and dry wind or in simple we can say it is an outcome of adiabatic heating. As this wind blows in winters, the eastern slope foothills along the plains are covered with ice. As soon as this wind reaches towards the foothills and its nature is hot and dry, it will begin to melt this snow. Thus will make the earth surface free from snow. Thus land will be visible for various activities. It can be grasslands will be there, thus cattle ranching can be there. It might be some of the winter crops like wheat and oats can be grown there. However, one of the drawback associated with it is as the temperature increases, this can result into the increase in evaporation, the soil moisture can reduce. This is one of the drawback associated with Chinook. Now we will discuss in detail how this wind originate and what are further impacts. Chinook mainly blows in winters it is a wind associated with cyclonic activity 
which results into the formation of clouds and rainfall or we can say precipitation over the windward slope in winters this is pacific ocean this is rocky mountains we know the slope of the mountain which faces the wind that is windward and the other part is leeward here the winds which are moving over the pacific in winters pacific will be warm and moist the winds will be warm and moist these winds will be full of moisture as they will blow they will strike with the windward slope of rocky mountains as they strike here with the windward slope of rocky mountains they will rise and adiabatically begin to cool this adiabatic cooling will give rise to condensation and condensation will give rise to cloud formation thus there will be intense rainfall along the windward slope however as soon as the same air mass start sinking along the leeward slope as explained already it had adiabatically get heated thus melt the snow along the foothills with the arrival of chinook temperature increases low pressure intensifies it will keep grasslands free from frost thus help in animal grazing with increase in temperature evaporation there can be rainfall thus will be helpful for the cultivation of winter crops like wheat and oats already discussed one of the drawback will be chinook will be due to excessive evaporation which is because of increase in temperature soil moisture will reduce this chinook as it melts snow thus is also called as snow eater these are the weather modifications associated with chinook